In today's tutorial, you're gonna learn how to do this. What up guys, it's Cubist here, and today we're doing a tutorial on smoothing things out and F-curves. So, first of all, I'm gonna explain what F-curves are. So, F-curves basically make your uh, objects move smoothly. So, we have this cube right here, yeah. So, let's keyframe 10 to 15, let's say. Move that 200 in that period of time, and as you can see, it's not that smooth. So, how to fix this? It's actually pretty simple. So, if you want to be lazy, you can just do this. You just go in here, go in here and do this. Simple as that, you have a smoother, smoother animation. That is not <laughs> what I meant to do. So, you can do th this, and that'll make it a smooth animation. It's a little bit of an easy ease, but I would not recommend this. So, to smooth it out, good. You go forth a little bit of frames and move it a little bit. Want to keyframe that? And if you did this before, just get rid of this, because it won't help you with this. So, as you can see now, it looks really smooth, right? So that's basically smoothing in a nutshell, and I'm gonna animate something, and I'll be right back. So this is what we have now. We have this very simple falling animation. Doesn't look good, not at all. Yeah. So you don't have any smoothing on it, right? So the easiest way of smoothing it is just grabbing the body, going ahead like 15 frames or so. I'm adding, animating in 30 FPS by the way. And just pulling him down. Down like here. Taking the chest. Doing the same thing. Pushing it, oh, pushing him down. So he looks like he's actually jumped. And, um, get the hands down here. Like, like, so. One second. I only want to put this hand a little bit more back because it looks a lot more natural that way. But if you want to do this, you want you really want to do this. So the hand goes in an arc. Everything in nature moves in an arc. So you're gonna make this move in an arc too. So next, you probably want to do something with the head too. So he was in this angle, and then at twenty, put his head down. Are you gonna easy ease this by? Going very close to the last keyframe, keyframing it, and pulling that keyframe back. And you do the same with the other arm. Not the other arm, the other body parts. So, it doesn't look good right there. So, you're gonna do the exact same thing, you're gonna go to 16 if you're doing the same exact animation. And my Cinema 40 has this glitch where it dips down. If you have any fixes, please leave them down in the comments. This is highly annoying. <coughs> I'm very sorry about that. Let, let me see. Did I actually make it go up instead of down? Yeah, I've made it go up. You want to squish it down. Put that right there. Pull it back. Shame with this. Go back. Got it. And this already looks better, right? But it isn't nowhere near good. Now, I am going to tell you a tip which will make your animations look 
so much better. You don't want to make everything happen exact same. You don't want to make everything happen at the exact same time. This leg you want it to hit the ground first, right? And this one you want to hit the ground later. And see what a difference it makes. We went from a crappy animation into a decent one. You see, it looks so much better. So now you need to exaggerate. That is a very important part. So you probably want to make him look like he's been already falling. So his head is kind of squished up. Once you've done that, you probably want to uh, pull it up a little bit more until he hits the ground. Once he hits the ground, you want to squish this down up to here, and then zero. Not that much. There we go. Now it looks good, right? And you want to unpick all frames. This is important. Whenever you're animating, turn off all frames, for God's sake. It'll make your workflow a lot more easier. And now we have this animation. So. Hold on. What the hell? I've moved the character. The floor. Yes, yes. Alright, so this is pretty much the tutorial and um, this is the end product for everyone watching. We made this simple falling down animation. So, yes. Goodbye, thanks for the watch and see you all later.